Okay, so it's Tuesday morning, morning of, is it day three now? Day three. Yeah, yep. day three. And um, we just kind of woke up. We're all kind of drinking our coffee, trying to warm up a little bit in our makeshift camp. And it was kind of a rough night. So Kind of rough. I don't know when it actually stopped raining. Um, it was but, still dark. Yeah. But regardless, everything is absolutely soaked. And we got to keep pushing. Got to keep going. So... Our um, goal is to drink coffee, eat a quick breakfast, and then make for Okalkins Lake, um, which should only be about two miles, two, three miles away from here. Shouldn't take too long, I wouldn't think. Um, but we gotta get up to Iron Basin, which we're not too far away from, and then basically head down into that. And then Okalkins Lake should be just a little descent from the end of Iron Basin. So um, yeah, that's kind of the morning that we have planned and no, you got anything? No. I need ibuprofen. <laughs> That's what I need. Josh. Coffee's working. <laughs> ibuprofen is second. A, a piece of sunshine. A piece of sunshine would would help the. Yeah, yeah, we need to. That's our plan. We got to dry our clothing out. So is everything so wet? Like Josh's pad. Yeah. Put the pad around there. <laughs> Boots are soaked. Okay, so we're just getting packed up at our little camp right here, um, just before the Iron Basin. And you can't really see it, but the main trail's literally right here. It's kind of a faint, faint little trail. But we are right here, right about here. So we're gonna catch the trail, we're gonna walk around into here and get down into O'Calkins Lake, which that was our intent yesterday, but just with the rain, we kind of had to make do with uh, what we had and the environment we were hiking in and we just set camp up down in here and now we're just a little bit behind, but um, we have a little, we had a buffer day planned where um, here in a couple days when we get into Sapphire Lake, we're going to have a, a full zero day where we just didn't do anything, but we might just take that day now and continue the trip and hike out. But that's the plan for this morning and yeah, even though it rained a whole ton and it's very wet and kind of miserable, it's been a blast so far. And yeah, I'm having a really good time. White clouds are awesome. So we've gone about three quarters of a mile since we left camp this morning. We just entered Iron Basin. It's super pretty. We are just about to pop out the Iron Basin Trail and look down into O'Calkins and most likely see the majority of the White Cloud Range. And I think the views are gonna be pretty awesome. Check this out.
need enough water for a Ziploc bag if I can. I don't really have a netting area, but yeah. we need enough water for DOE tomorrow. We need enough water for dinner tonight, yeah. breakfast tomorrow, and then. Yeah, it's a lot of water. We need quite a bit. Yep. Push it. Yeah. So we just kind of came upon this little hill um, looking over O'Calkins Lake. And so it's down there. We're planning on going down there and drying our stuff out. But tomorrow's objective is D.O. Lee, and we've got to go all the way up Bighorn Basin and around. And we don't really want to go all the way down, kind of backtrack into O'Calkins, if you will, and then have to go up Bighorn. So what we're planning on doing right now is more just kind of beaten trail and getting into the basin and hoping that we have a water source up there and then camping at the base of the saddle for D.O. Lee and then pushing up there tomorrow morning first thing. So we were just kind of discussing worst case scenario if we find that we have zero water up there, a couple of us will have to hike back down to O'Calkins or the nearest stream and fill up literally every <laughs> reservoir that we have to get us through the remainder of the day, night, up to D.O. Lee and down to the Big Boulder Lakes. So. That's kind of our plan. I think we're gonna start beating trail probably around here and up to Bighorn Basin. What do you think? The adventure continues. Is it a plan? <laughs> Nothing our, set in stone. The dark triangles are route up. Yep. That is gonna be a push. So this is Bighorn Basin, really nice. We are just heading up this hill, trying to get up more into the the basin that sits just under the Dioli saddle. Just have to make our own switchbacks because there are no trails. It seems like in this basin, at least from what we found. That was a good, big little climb. We started down at the basin floor there, the valley floor. Probably doesn't look as steep as it was, but Woo. we're really hoping we can find some water up here because we need it. All right, we found Bob. He's just a little bit ahead of us. And I think we found home for the night from what it sounds like. Right kind of here in this basin with trees and everything. I saw a ram standing right there. Did you? When I came through the tree line. Oh really? Yeah, I got a couple pictures of them. Oh cool, so they are around. They're scurried up top there somewhere. Yeah. Oh, you can see them right up there. There's some one walking right up there. There are some bighorn ram, or bighorn sheep in uh, Bighorn Basin. Okay, so we just made it to our little camp here in Bighorn Basin. So in total, we went about a little over three and a half miles from our uh, little makeshift camp that we stayed at um, on the way up to Iron Basin this morning. Um, just took us a couple hours to get there, or to get here. So. We literally have views for miles. Like this is what backpacking is all about. It's so exciting to me to just like, this is where I'll be setting up camp. I have this whole valley to kind of look down. Got massive DOE peak in the background. Uh, WCP nine, the Chinese wall, Calkins peak, You've got everything. Literally have views for miles. And 
we're here early this will be actually the first day that we actually kind of have an afternoon to relax and just take in what backpacking is all about so pretty excited to show you guys um, right now we're all in kind of a mad dash to get our gear all laid out our clothing get everything drying Bob's already getting his tent up so it can get drying but uh, this is where we're at beautiful spot okay so camp is completely all set up Bob's right behind me Josh is actually kind of nestled back into the trees which might be a smart idea but um, we're on the quest to go find some water we know of a couple of different drainages one possibly back here and then two I mean we've got some snow over here so we kind of venture out and you know worst case scenario we've got to hike back down to where we found water last which I'm hoping we won't have to do um, but we wanted to get up here so we don't really have a whole lot of a hike tomorrow to climb to DOE Peak so um, water's the the main objective from here on until we find it so that's what we're doing we'll go for a little walk and find some so far we've been pretty unlucky so we checked some drainages kind of the base of DOE and WCP9 completely dry so Bob took off to, uh, looking in a different place and it's such flat country I mean we can I can still see him even behind us so. but I'm going to check where the snow is kind of on the southern end here hoping there's some melt off it's gonna fill water up for everyone look at that not the most ideal situation there's a little pond we found it we found some water it was we a only, tough tough haul to get up here we wouldn't let a hike a mile or more ish who knows through a boulder field but uh thank god So thankfully we were able to find water right at the, the very southern end of uh, Bighorn Basin where we're at. And I mean, it's literally all glacial runoff. And thankfully it just made this little pond and we have water. <laughs> we live to see another day and we don't have to hike all the way back, back down to Ocalkins. So I think it's a win-win for us. It's starting to rain again. Um, man, just gotta get through one more day and. From what we've seen, the forecast shows nice for the rest of the week. So, just gonna finish filtering water, bring enough back for Josh too. Got a couple double gallon Ziploc bags and try to just haul a ton and as much water as we can back to camp. Even in the highest runoff spot that we could find, there's still animal tracks on the water. That's why we filter it. So between my reservoirs for water, I've got about four and a half liters, about five liters. Bob in total. I have three. You have three liters. And then we have two, two gallon Ziploc bags of dirty water. Probably would, a gallon in each. Probably a gallon in each. Yeah. Maybe a little more, but um, that we're bringing home to Josh. He's got a pretty good. And we should have brought his damn his bags too, <laughs> but we were too lazy to walk yeah. over to his tent. So it's because he's a football field away from us. Pretty much. So. All right. Um, yeah, let's get these two gallon Ziploc bags home to Josh. Bets on if they hold. I give it a eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Mine's leaking like a sieve. It's leaking? Yeah. All right. So. You got your water. Yep. Easy. It's starting to leak a little bit, so we need to, I'll help you. There's your Is water. It filtered or none? None, it's a dirty bag. Perfect, probably a good couple liters in there, at least one. So it's sitting at about 2.30 in the afternoon and you know, kind of like everything, nothing usually goes as planned. So obviously this morning we were planning on going into O'Calkins lake all the way down the drainage of um, 
of the Bighorn Basin. And um, we didn't do that. We decided to come up here and basically just made it a huge push. And through finding a campsite, finding water, like we never really even ate breakfast. So <laughs> we were both, or we were all really hungry, really thirsty, and just gonna take the rest of the day to kind of relax. And I'm going to eat a brunch. Um, and so I'm gonna do some of a mountain house breakfast skillet here. Um, probably just about half of it. And then I've got some tortillas to make some breakfast tacos. And then I'm just gonna sit back, study DOE Peak, and how the hell we're gonna get up to that saddle. Oh yeah. Oh, some much needed calories. Breakfast tacos <laughs> right around three in the afternoon. We just got back from a little uh, trip towards DOE Peak just to kind of get our route in mind and to get an idea of what we are going to do tomorrow and what route we're going to take. So, of course, <laughs> when we were sitting there making our plan, started getting some drips and then turned into getting sprinkled on. And here we are again, hunkered down in our tent. It's about five o'clock right now, hoping to wait, uh, to wait out this storm. So. There is blue sky around, so hoping it just kind of passes, but man, tired of the rain on this one. So, it's time to hang out. So that was about an hour of pure storm. The rain was coming down at one time too. Like, hard so hoping to catch a break but we still got some big big clouds kind of coming over us so and dark ones too so but you know and we got some blue sky so just kind of waiting to eat dinner until i know if it's done or not then we got bob what's for dinner some biscuits and gravy, sausage and gravy and biscuits, and some chicken. Nice. These clouds are literally heading right for us. Okay, so it's a quarter after nine down here in Bighorn Basin of the White Clouds, and we're just kind of wrapping up the night. Ate dinner, the typical tacos for me and we're just settling in. It is absolutely beautiful here. I don't think I've ever camped in a basin quite like this before. It's Bighorn Basin, it's earned its name. There's Bighorn sheep up on the hillsides above us and you couldn't ask for better. It rained a little bit today, but otherwise the sun came back out and it's been absolutely beautiful. So just gonna head into bed for the night because we have a big day tomorrow because we need to go and tackle Dioli Peak. I'm not sure if I got it. If I didn't get it in the shot, I apologize. Um, and that's our objective tomorrow. So, calling it a night here. Day three, Bighorn Basin. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night.